Sunday morning. I feel super productive already this morning. Both dogs got washed. I was gonna say, say took showers with me, but they kind of did because that's how we wash them right now. <laughs> um, so I washed both of them. Chris, we were like a team. He um, blew, you know, blew them dry and I washed them and then I took a shower and got my hair, my hair still wet right now. So excuse that, don't have makeup on yet, but we're doing our family photos today. So um, that'll be later, but I'm going to be making brunch right now. Oh yeah, that's it. Lucy already ran away, but here's how fluffy Holly is. Come over here, boo. Look how fluffy. So fluffy. Mommy needs to brush you some more still. Breakfast, some tater tots, over medium eggs, and bacon. everybody I'm getting ready for spring and Easter I decorated my kitchen table so far I uh, got the carrot ring from home goods the pillars for the candles of Valerie Parr Hill on QVC the napkins are from home goods or carrots for the theme and the little cabbage head, I got that from Pier 1 Imports along with the green placemats. So I hope you're starting to get ready. I know I love to put it up early so that I can enjoy it more. Oh, and by the way, I got these candles from Kirkland's White Peach and Mango, and it smells so good. I wish we had smell of Rainy day, so had to bring in my flowers my bunnies and my signs. They came out so cute, I love it. I'll tell you below where I got everything. Taking a break from Easter decor to go shopping with Mama B and we're at Home Goods. So many cute things. Next stop, Trader Joe's to pick up a few necessities. So these are the items I found at Home Goods, and then I also got Trader Joe goodies. So I couldn't resist these for the doggies. <laughs> How cute are they? Little ice cream cones. And I also got one of these portable bowls for when we go on hikes and for when we go camping with the doggies. So I, I just got one really big one because they don't drink at the same time usually. And then I got some cute Easter napkins because I am hosting Easter again this year. Chris and I are. So I thought those were really cute. And I also got some of these for people to take food home with. Isn't that cute? And then this, they had a couple different sizes. I got the larger side because I planned to put it over there. That's blocked off for Holly because she was eating the baskets. The little shamey girl over there. Anyway, so I'm going to have it like on either side somewhere. But isn't she so cute? I love it. And then these I'm going to do in July in display, but they're actually candles. They are Raydon, but I couldn't resist them because they're so cute. And you don't have to display them as Raydon. You could just have them as little ice cream cones. But the lids come off. If I, I don't know if I can do this one-handed. There we go. And they're a candle. Oh, my gosh. It smells so good, too. But this one says sprinkle, and this one just says strawberry, and they both smell so good. I'm going to do a little ice cream shop display later. What, babies? Do you smell treats? Yes. Okay, mommy will give you your box in a second. She also got a bark box in the mail. I also found these cute carrot um, towels that have like that really nice absorbent texture. So I'm actually going to use them. They're not just for decoration. And then I saw this cute little, um, what's, what are these called? Like the silicone molds. And I just thought that would be really cute for the dessert table for Easter to make a little bunt cake in this. And then I also got this one, Cottontail Cutie. I mean, the lid with it being pink and everything. It was just too cute. And I'm going to put that over in this area, over there. I'm getting out all the Easter, starting to decorate. Good girl, honey. She's giving me kisses. Okay, and then this is what I found at Trader Joe's. Got some fire-roasted bell peppers and onions to make some fajitas this week. This was just to try it and see if it's as good as my buffalo chicken dip. We love it, so we'll see if this is good, but I've heard good things. Got my favorite salad. My mangoes, I haven't gotten these. If you've been with me for a while here on YouTube, then you remember me getting these all the time. Um, when I first started going into Trader Joe's, but yeah, those bring me back. They're just mango. They're not sweetened. And then we, I've never tried this chicken chow mein. It looked really good. You can't have this. 
harvest apple salad kit. This sounded so good too. I'm so hungry now. These are going to go in the freezer, garlic naan, for when I make this chicken, um, Indian chicken dish I'm making. And then some garlic and cheese breadsticks to go with a pasta dish that I'm going to make with this vegan bolognese pasta sauce. And then I also got some pesto to make with another chicken dish I'm making this weekend, probably. The kids are coming again this weekend, so I figured we'll have some yummy meals too. Okay, I need to put all this away and get back to Easter decorating. So got this sweet package from Pacifica Beauty. And they have fluffy blushy air whipped lightweight formulas infused with vegan collagen to hydrate skin while adding a soft blendable flush of color. And I have three beautiful shades, like a peachy color and then like a more berry toned and then this really beautiful sparkly like pink that has like gold shimmers to it. That one's called Bloom. But I will try those out. I did already try this out. They're collagen infused um, plumping gloss. And it's mild. It's not overly stimulating. But it, it's nice. It's okay. It's nice, but it's not like crazy plumping. So if you're looking for crazy plumping, I I suggest the Buxom ones or the Too Faced injectables or the new Libyan Co. ones I've been using are really good. Um, but these feel nice. This one feels really nice on the lips and it's vegan, so an option, but it's not my favorite I've tried. Okay, let's show you this bark box before Holly goes crazy on it. It is the cutest bark box I've received yet. Sweetie Pie's Bakery. Look how pretty the imagery is. And then look at these. Oh my gosh, you guys are gonna die. Look at these. Chocolate covered strawberries. I can't even. A cupcake. Wait for it. Puppy love with little heart sprinkles. And then a little bag of goodies, sweet, Sweetie Pie's Bakery, with little baked goods inside. Little cookies. And then we've got some treats, Gobble Jerky Bars, which I think we've had those and they love them. And then Wakey Wakey Soft Bakes Bacon and Oatmeal Recipe. And we've also got some Beef Recipe Small Chews that are grain free. They love all these treats, but look at the other goodies you can get for them too. Hey guys, I'm off to an affirmation brunch with my friend Aubrey, which was also the bride that you guys just saw last week in the vlog. But yeah, we're going to this affirmation brunch. It's kind of like a influencer kind of event thing and talking about our goals and things like that. I know I'll share more after because I'm not really sure what to say now. The dress I have on is from TJ Maxx. I got it like a couple months ago. This is the first time I'm wearing it. And my earrings are from a Etsy shop that I will link for you guys. All right. So I'm now back from our day of affirmations and building each other up and branding and amazing women today that I met and Kiana who threw it. Um, she gave us this really sweet goodie bag with some sage it looks like and this um, essential oil blend called Superwoman. And I believe her mom Renee is the one that does this wellness, these wellness goodies, yep. My mom gave us some more amazing soup this week. We're so lucky. And then I had these breadsticks from Trader Joe's. I had it planned for a different meal, but it works. It smells super good, so. Good morning, you guys. It's Wednesday. And actually my first day of work for the week. Because um, Monday was my last Monday off that I'll have off for a while. Um, I think I already explained that in last week's vlog and then yesterday I had off for the affirmation brunch which was so awesome um plus my doctor had off she was in Cabo <laughs> so I didn't have to worry about that um but yeah yesterday was so awesome um and I got my concealer on you know what I should play with my Chanel bronzer like do all cream products today okay I think this is a better angle but you have the mirror in the way sorry yeah, think that I'd be that I've been doing YouTube for a while. Wouldn't know from this video. Ay ay ay. I really wish like you guys were here to tell me which one to do. You know, I think. Okay, let's see. I also have this palette I'm gonna use today from Too Faced. Too Femme is called. My mom actually got this and this 
for Valentine's Day for me because she's the best human in the universe. She's just the kindest, most genuine person. I love her. I'm so lucky to have her as my mom. I really am. And not because she gives me things because don't get it twisted. It's more just because she's just the kindest soul. <laughs> I can't explain it. Um, but anyway, look how beautiful this is. She said it reminded me of, it reminded her of me, but also she got it because my grandma, um, ugh, I can't get emotional in the morning. Someday I'm going to be able to talk about her without crying, right? <laughs> um, my grandma said that she would visit us as a butterfly when she passed. So anytime we see butterfly things, um, especially yellow butterflies, we think of her. Um, but anyways, if any of you don't know, she was like my second mama. So that's why it's really hard for me to talk about my grandparents because they're like my second parents. But look at these beautiful colors. Are you kidding me right now? So, um, oh my God, it smells good. It smells like flowers, like roses or a bunch of beautiful flowers. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, so I think I'm going to go towards the warm side today. Both of these are a little bit warm, but I'm going to go with the coral because that's my jam usually. So I'm going to go with Sunset. And I have this like duo fiber brush um, and it's from the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill collection JH04. So I'm going to, I'm going to pray that this works, this brush works for this product. And I don't want to take too much because I'm known to use too much cream blush. I just tapped a little on the lid. I'm just going to kind of tap it first and then blend. Because I don't know how pigmented this is. I guess I can go in with a little more. It's pretty. It's subtle. It's pretty though. I'll probably layer. Because that's not enough for for all day for me, it'll wear off. But that's a pretty color, really pretty for summer and spring. Okay, I'm thinking we need to try the pink, a little bit of the pink on top. <laughs> well, you can definitely see it in my cheeks there. This one has some glitter to it and I have a feeling it's gonna be a little more pigmented, so I'm just gonna distribute it here. Do you see that better? This is like mostly just coral and this side is both. All right, let me finish the rest of my makeup. I'm very glowy right now, but I'm not, I can't stay this way <laughs> because I'm going to work, but I'm gonna finish off setting my makeup and then I will show you what my eyes look like after I'm done. You guys, I'm crazy glowy now, but I never showed you my eye makeup and I really liked it. Um, it's probably wearing away now and you might not be able to see it as well, but it's really pretty. I'll show you tomorrow again because I'm definitely using it again. <laughs> and it was a very rainy, cloudy, miserable day today. But is it weird that I loved it? <laughs> so tonight we're trying out the chicken chow mein that I got this week at Trader Joe's. And it smells and looks amazing. Pretty much everything we've had from Trader Joe's we've I've loved. I'm pretty sure Chris has loved as well. So I'm about to head into work. It's a little pony and headband kind of day and pretty casual work day too because doctor's in surgery. And so it's just kind of my catch up day and Tammy's an office aesthetician, but you know, whatever. I'm so tired, you guys. I'm so tired. <laughs> um, construction is still going around our house still a little bit. Um, like not our house, but like near us because the area is still developing and workers were up at 3 a.m., 3 a.m. doing work. And I'm a really light sleeper in the sense that once I, once I'm up, it takes me a really long time to get back to sleep. And I woke up at like 3.30. I tried to get back to sleep all the way up till 4 a.m. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to be productive with being up right now. So I got up, went to my beauty room, edited for an hour and a half. Edit, I edited the um, Disney vlog. So that should be up already for you guys um, when you're watching this vlog. So I'll try to remember to link it down below. But it's 
obviously on my channel too. Uh, still working on the yard, getting that ready to go. Um, we are starting phase two already because he gave us a really good deal. We are going to get the grass put in and the sprinkler system put in. Now we might not get gravel and plants again for a few months, but we'll see. Like, we'll see what we can manage. We're having date night. We're at Brio having some Caesar salad. Look at my handsome husband. Yes. <laughs> we already devoured the bread. All right, guys, we're gonna try pitos for the first time. And there's four of us here, but Gavin's over here in the corner and he'll give his opinion still. <laughs> All right, so truth be told, Chris and I already tried one or two of these, so I'm gonna have the kids try them first, but our reactions might not be as intense, but we, we know we like no. them. So I do believe it's made with peas. So there's no, no artificial flavors, no synthetic colors. It's non-GMO, gluten-free. It has three grams of fiber and four grams of pr protein per serving. And it's pretty low in calories. So they gave us a real big bag of the crunchy chip zesty ranch, which looks like comparison to a Dorito. And then there's the crunchy curls, which they also have, I believe a, yeah, a classic cheddar one too. And then they also have one that's like the onion rings, like fine onions. So we're just gonna try them. Okay. All right. Which one do you want to try first? Purple. Purple? Mm -hmm. Oh, these are the ones that we, me and your dad tried already. Oh. And we really liked. They totally taste like Funyuns, in our opinion. Yeah, so, these are good. Yeah. I'll let you guys take one but first. We shouldn't be influencing your opinion. I know, sorry. <laughs> There's that one for you. It tastes like a bunion to me. It does. It really does. It's so good. I like this one. No, it does? Oh, yeah. Highly recommended. What do you think, Gavin? They taste healthy. Oh, jeez. Are we going to rate them on, like, well, Yeah. They're, you can say, yeah. They're like, they're like Funyuns, but not as crisp as a Funyun. Probably because the it's, oil content is not as high or something, too. It's like a dense Funyun. Okay. Very, very flavorful though. Well, let's see what you think of these. And I'm not going to tell you what me and your dad thought of these ones since you thought I influenced the other one. So this one is the nacho cheese. So it's supposed to be kind of like Dorito. So why don't you go ahead and grab one out of there. Thank you. Welcome. Do you want one? Cool. Um, so What do you think? They're very bland. They taste like pita chips. It tastes like that. I do agree that it tastes like a pita chip. Yeah, not like It has a different kind of density to it. Yeah. But it's not I It's like not it. bad flavor-wise. I think yeah. it, has good, like it has nacho cheese flavor. It's like a It's just that the, de the chip is different. It it's almost a, tastes like a... It's like, like a, a, a very stale flavor. The flavor is strong enough either. It's oh, like, you want it to be more cheesy? It's like yeah. a very stale It's called nacho cheese. It's not even nice. It's airy. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, we already know the cheese one we're maybe not the hugest fan of, but we're going to try the Zesty Ranch flavor now. And this, they gave us a big bag, so I'm guessing a lot of people love this flavor. Oh, hi. You can't have this, baby. Sorry. Oh, I like this one. Yeah? Yeah. You like the flavor better? Yeah. That one tastes a lot more like a burrito. Oh, really? But so. it still doesn't have enough flavor. It it's flavorful, but not quite. I'm with Gavin. It's, it's it trying. It's like the nacho cheese. It's trying, but I think it's because we know what a Dorito is. Yeah. Like. <laughs> it has like the kick, the, the good flavor of a Dorito in the beginning. That one really tastes like corn. But then tastes like the tortilla chip at the end. It really tastes like corn. Yeah. yeah. It probably has a mixture of that in there. It, that was not bad. I like this one. It's spicy nacho. Wow. Of the same kind like a Dorito. Alright, ready? I got rough. Oh, I'll take that one. <laughs> oh, I got another one. I like it. Yeah. Not bad. It's the exact same as the nacho cheese with a little more flavor and slightly spicier. It's spicy. I'm not a fan of these kinds. 
Yeah, I definitely like the onion rings one the best, so I'm gonna save the spicy onion ring one for last. Yeah, I'm excited for that one. Me too. All right, so we got two Cheeto versions of Pitos, Ooh. or Pitos versions of Cheetos, in classic cheddar and fiery hot. So I'll do the cheddar first. One for Joe. I don't really think there is a way to mess up our cheetos. Mm. There's a way. Yeah. Yeah. These are good. I would, I would eat a big bag of those. Yeah, those are good. Yeah. Good flavor. Aftertaste is a little odd, but a slightly, it's like peas at the end. It's a, <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's a slightly good, denser cheeto. It is good. I, st I Yeah, I would rate those in the higher category for me. Okay, these are the supposed... I'm saying supposed fire are you hot because there's not a lot of powder on you, so I don't know. Oh, that's. I know that's that's interesting. I'm that's, not sure yet. It's a skin colored hot Cheeto. Oh, there you got it. <laughs> no, what is that? That's a tapatio oh, dip. Oh, it's like barbecue. Yeah. It tastes it, like barbecue. It tastes, oh. I agree that it mm. tastes like on um, like a tapatio. Well, spicy one. It oh, it has a kick at the end. It's, I like those. Those are good. These are good. The, not flavor, bad the flavor on those, I taste three different flavors because it's tapatio, then barbecue sauce, and then plain cheese. It's got Cheeto. like almost a smoky, I'm, spicy they're barbecue. They're going to be so disappointed that your face is in this and all they can hear is your voice. They love you. <laughs> Seriously, I like these, but they, you can't compare them to the Cheeto version because they're totally yeah. different. No. It's not nearly as fun having the bland no. one, whereas you the can lick one? all of yeah, the powder off a regular like Cheeto. No, mm -hmm. I'm excited for those, because the original ones were good. Ross ones. Are we going to give the ratings at the end? Yeah. Like our yeah, favorites and our mm -hmm. least favorites. There's literally just a piece of hot sauce. Oh, it looks like the same kind of hot stuff. Is the hot stuff made out of these? Huh? Is the hot stuff made out of these? <laughs> no. Well, it's got a nice little kick at the end. It's a different spice. I yeah. Like the first it's not, it's not bad at all. Mm. It's not a flavorful spice. I like it. But it's a spice. I like the aftertaste more than the aftertaste. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The first taste was a little weird, but after that, it's good stuff. No, uh, that's because zesty onion. Mm -hmm. We're going to have some zesty breath. So, at least we all have the same breath now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But... Okay, let's go with ratings. Lexi, which one was your favorite out of all those? The purple. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I think that's pretty unanimous with all of us, right? Yeah. Is that our um, favorite? No, honestly, no? I would say my favorite would either be the classic cheese. Oh, of these? Or yeah. the wannabe cool ranch. That's like top three. What? Really? These two? This one? This one? All right, these are Gavin's two favorites. I did like the Zesty Ranch ones a lot, yeah. but these are definitely my favorite, the onion flavor. I would say the and most- Then followed by the spicy flavor of the onion ones. Yeah. I would say the most interesting would definitely be the spicy, the spicy The Cheetos. Cheeto versions were good, yeah. yeah. I did like those. Those ones? These, the onion ring yeah. fire ones. And the last one we tried, and then the Cheetos. And the Cheetos, yeah, those are winners. Well, thank you, Pitos, for sending this for us to try. And yeah, now we have snacks for the whole weekend. Yay. <laughs> Good stuff. Okay. okay. Thanks guys for trying it with us.